Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermeran and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we kind of did some stuff around North Hyrule Field and into Hyrule Castle and we ended up getting both the White Sword Level 3, which is with infusing with three elements, and we ended up getting the Magical Boomerang in this part. We don't really have any other side questy stuff on the go right now, so I did not mean to hit the freaking Wii U pause button. In this part, we're going to be making our way to the one spot that required us to have, us, to have three uses. And just like that, two new buddies were born. Alright, so... I don't believe there's anything... No, that's a shortcut back down there. If we head up this way, we... Oh, really? Why are there so many of these damn 200 mysterious shell chests? Welcome to Royal Valley. <laughs> so what do you think, Link? Pretty dark and spooky, isn't it? Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? What, you're not scared? Well, good, neither am I, so, um, come on, let's go. If we turn on our flame lantern, we can see a lot easier, but it also does scare the ghosts, who... Okay, I thought they take, took more hits than that. This area doesn't look sus at all or nothing. Emergency meeting, there's a secret in this wall here. We're heading in here. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Would you tell me of the things you've seen on your adventures? Yes. The first element you found was the Fire Element, was it not? It definitely was not the Fire Element. Yes, I see. Now for the next question. Your grandfather's name is Smee, isn't it? It is not. Yes, I see. Now for the next question. Malari of Mount Cornell has seven apprentices, does he not? This I do not remember. I want to say it's no, but... Shoot. I did not mean to lie to you, babe. I really did not mean to lie to her. <laughs> I do not know. I never remember certain little things like that. Let's try this again. No. No. Yes. The Blabbernut gives one the ability to understand the Minish, does it not? That is true. What? Did I just misread that entirely? Third time's the charm at your freaking quiz. Blabbernaut gives one the ability to understand the Minish, does it not? That is true, isn't it? The Blabbernaut gives one the ability to understand the Minish, does it not? I guess that's... That doesn't make sense to me at all, I'm pretty sure it does. The robe of the current King of Hyrule, Daltus, is white. That is not true, it is red. I see. Thank you for telling me about your quest. You remember it all too... Uh, all so well. Such a faithful memory should be rewarded with some of my power. You got a large quiver. Now we can carry more arrows, which is why I wasn't worried about losing all my arrows, even though I also just don't use them anyway half the time. We now have 99 arrows. If you're wondering, the bomb bag we'll be getting by the end of this, but... Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's equip the Flame Lantern, actually, just because it'll be nice for this. This area here doesn't really have a whole lot to 
talk about, but it does remind me of my first time kind of through this place. So, this puzzle here always did kind of confuse me. Or, well, it confused me a bit when I was younger. So we got up. Left. Same as before, so left again. Same as the beginning, so up. Right. Same as two before, so that would be up again, I believe. Yes, that puzzle is not that hard to figure out, and yet, as a kid, that really tripped me up. But, uh, here's the weird thing with this. Honestly, when I first played this game, when I got to this part, I was stumped here for a long time. And then... <sighs> there was one time I was playing this game, like, this, this is a weird story that happened, but... Uh, when I was younger, I ended up... Um, I took my Game Boy Advance to school one day, and I heard this announcement on the radio that, like, I misheard, and I got, like, really, really frightened for some reason that I actually just straight up ran home, like, from school, and by home I mean to my grandmother's, um, because my grandmother lived not too far from there, and, like, I, it was stupid, I don't know why, but I just kind of did that, and then... One of the, like, I don't know what you'd call them, like, a person, like, a counselor who works with, like, special needs people, like, um, someone at the school basically ratted me out and, uh, told the principal actually about this, and, uh, next thing I know, it like, I, this was, like, the first time I got, like, through this part of the game, and then, like, I was kind of in this part of Royal Valley, and maybe even a little bit later, um, my name's Tompe, I'm the Grave Digger here. What's that? You're called here by the Ghost of the King. I'd be the ancient king of Hyrule. It rests here. I've seen him in myself. Well, if the king called you, I can't see any reason not you. And here, take the graveyard key. Alright, we'll take that graveyard key indeed. What's with that crow? He held up his with the graveyard key. Charge after him and get that key. Gotta find a tree that a crow rests in. I see that. Equip your Pegasus boots, even if it is pitch black. And get our key back. So you managed to get the key back. Keep a tighter grip on it this time. At least you can get into the graveyard. I, ba I basically got to this part of the game here. And then, like, because someone ratted me out to the principal, the principal actually went to my grandmother's place. and Because it was, like, less than a block away from the school. And, like, I was so, like, frightened and shocked that my principal just kind of showed up and I was in serious trouble that, like, I didn't even really have time to save or anything. It was dumb. It was really dumb. But <laughs> that's always, like, the memory I have of this area. That is an area I haven't been. Hey, I've just had a great idea. This will add a little more risk. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have not been in that building yet, but maybe it might be worth checking out at a later on point. Uh, if we break those... oh shoot. I believe there is a secret that I would like to try and find. Is it with Pegasus boots here? Uh... Oh, maybe it's just not even at this part of the game here, actually. Okay, sorry about that. I thought that there was something else we could get in this area, in this place, but I guess not quite now. Um, we will be back later in this area anyway, because there is something else we can get right now. If you notice, we can push most of these, but we can't exactly push all of them, so... 
I guess kind of keep that in mind. Can we, we can't push this one, can we? Oh, this one we can push. Aha! I knew there was a piece of heart we could get in this area. I thought... For some reason, I thought that... I think there is some stuff we can get here after we do some kinstone fusions. But there is, in fact, a piece of heart in this area. And... Aha! If we fuse up to make three, three new goobers... Although I called them three new buddies earlier, and now I'm calling them three goobers, but... Uh, shoot. Depth perception. We head up here and activate this. It does open up a way to a new area. This is the Royal Crypt. Maybe Royal Crypt. Graves are creepy no matter who they are. Where are we supposed to go and meet the King Gustav anyway? I'm not even sure what he wants. Can we just go somewhere less creepy? We have a new enemy here called Gibdos. These guys are very annoying, but if you hit them with the Flame Lantern, which isn't the easiest thing, they do turn into ordinary Salphos. Very useful little tip. I have a pretty creepy, creepy rendition of like the Zelda 1 dungeon theme and I believe if we okay yeah we, we start having some fake doors here this was kind of the part of the game I got to when like the principal showed up and ratted me out so yeah kind of the weirdest memory I think anyone can have with this um one tip with the cloning mechanics in this game if you hold down your charge before like fully committing to the clone um you won't actually, um, waste a whole lot of time with that. But there is, in fact, a small key there, which is very nice. And over here, we have another one of these, this time with traps we gotta deal with here. And doing that activates yet another key. This is definitely not a full-length dungeon, even if it does kind of come across as one. Um, it's pretty much just kind of this one room here that's meant to teach you, like, how to get used to... Um, split up mechanics with three. But... Oh, we gotta actually like this here, really? I did not remember this, but... It creates some Gibdos, which again, we can turn into ordinary Salphos, and these guys are not deadly at all. <laughs> oh, but the throwing fireballs shooting across the side, that's just wonderful. <laughs> oh, young one. Child who seeks to rescue my descendant, Zelda. Welcome. My name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. I grant you this kinstone. Seek the source of the flow in Hyrule. Only then will your path open. Save Zelda. All of Hyrule is counting on you. We got a kinstone piece. We know what these do. Hmm, fascinating. An ancient king of Hyrule? How strange. And the source of the flow? What do you suppose that could mean? I don't know about you guys, but we have seen a source of the flow before. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we will be taking off once again for Veil Falls. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.